Hello, so today we are solving XYZ there, the last problem inside string 2 for Python in Coding Bat. Now, I'm very excited to get this over with. So, this problem basically just asks you to return whether or not a period is before XYZ. So, let's look at these example problems. That's true because the period is not in front of X, right before XYZ. Here it's false because the period is right before XYZ. And here it's true because the period comes after, not before. So we return true if there's no period right before XYZ and false if there is. Now, let's analyze the way we as humans solve this problem. So when we think about it, the way we solve this problem is by checking groups of four, right? So first we check this group of four. And then we check this group of four. And then we check this group of four inside our minds. And we just go throughout the entire word until we find a period XYZ. Now, if we do find a period XYZ, we return false. Otherwise, we return true. So that's the exact way we'll use Python to solve the method. We'll define the method XYZ there with a string parameter, and we'll call it str because it's my favorite way to denote a string. Now, once you do that, you need to check if str at 0 colon 3 is equal to the string xyz. Now, if you're confused about this Python annotation, please check out the other string 2 video, right, the problem right before this one. Um, it's called end other. You should definitely check that out if you're confused about this annotation. But it's going to take too long to cover, so we'll just skip it for now. Now, you need to check if the first three characters are equal to XYZ. If it is, then you can just return true. After all, we know for a fact that inside the given string, they will give us XYZ, but they might not give a, uh, but the string could be, you know, just XYZ by itself with no other characters. So to avoid that trickery and avoid a lot of extra work, We'll just check first to see if the first three characters are XYZ. If it is, we'll just return true. Just knock that out of the way. Now, let's say that's not the case. Then we have to actually run through the word to check. And if you're confused why we do this, please make sure to check out the other string two videos as well. Um, so we just have to run through the word and we check uh, four characters at a time. So first we need to check if the current index we're on is not equal to a period. And if the three characters after that is equal to XYZ. Because remember, if we find no period and an XYZ right after that, that's a true. And if not, that's a false. Oops. Indentation is very important, so make sure you don't forget to indent out of your for loop. And boom, you have just conquered coding bat a Python string to XYZ there. That's a dub.